So two things have already happened in this that show massive competence, whether she knew it or not. The first is she left me a call. She tried calling me. Now, ladies, if you want a guy to call you more, actually just reaching out and calling him, even if he doesn't answer or you just get his voicemail, will send a very clear message that it's okay and not weird for him to call you. For a lot of guys, we're a little nervous about calling you, believe it or not. When she called me and I saw a missed call on my phone from her, my brain went, ah, I should call her back. It's normal to call her. As crazy and stupid as that sounds, it gave me a license to do what she wanted me to do. The second thing she did right, she immediately got me to associate negatively with texting. We had a great conversation, 10, 15 minutes, and then we got off the phone. Short and sweet. After the phone call, about five minutes later, I get a text message. It's from her and it reads, why is it that hearing your voice can leave me flustered even after we've hung up? And it was the third thing that went, that she did really, really well. Because now she's given me a license to call by calling me first. She got me to associate negatively with texting her by saying, we're like pen pals, right? Ugh, horrible image for a guy to have. And then third, after we'd hung up, she said something that made me feel desirable when I was on the phone. So now I'm associating positively with the idea of calling her. Because now I go, God, when I call her, I leave her flustered just by speaking to her. So negativity associated with texting, positivity associated with the phone call. I never had problems calling this woman again. She was a woman that I would always call wherever possible. I would still text her, but I would also call her in a way that I would never call other people. This is someone not just with confidence, this is someone with competence. Even if you just take the pen pal part of it, that's, a, that's like a very valuable script. The part where she said, why is it that just hearing your voice can leave me flustered even after we've hung up, that's a really valuable script. And anyone who says, you don't need to learn all of these techniques, what you need to learn is just to be confident. It is the height of arrogance. A couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine went to a wedding. 